Morning, my friends. I'm just waking up here on a Saturday. I'm starting to feel a lot better from this cold thing. And um, I need to make videos on all your guys' links, but I just woke up, clicked on Red Feathers link. I watched like a couple seconds of it this, this much. See, I, I feel it's very important that I tell you guys that I don't watch these before because the way that I, I do the commentary is Gnosis itself. And that's a that's the fun of it is knowing that I haven't watched these first. Sometimes, at moments of particular stress, one adult will turn to another and say, "Stop behaving like a child, or even act your age." Oh, we know this one well here at the Mystery School. the The title of of it is "Why Some Adults Can't Act Their Age." Well, it's because we have a narcissist front over everything. People are not serious people. People that what they're calling serious is holding up their narcissistic front. You know, there's there's different situations. There can be a very situ, a very serious situation and people can rise above the narcissism. But in just normal what we would call nothing about it's normal but um in normal everyday life people are not serious people the the people that you would think are the most serious their serious is a, a protecting their narcissism so right here it appears that we have an abusive wife that thinks that she's so serious and she thinks she has it so together and she makes her husband a self-loather. She abuses her husband. She puts on this act like she's so smart and so superior and has all her shit together. Now, now I should play some of the video because I just said a lot with, I only saw as much of the video as you guys did. You know, let, let's even hear that again. Sometimes, at moments of particular stress, one adult will turn to another and say, stop behaving like a child or even act your age. This isn't merely rude. Now, th now this is also, the, uh, understand the, the scenario and the premise. The scenario is, hey, look, this guy, he's, there's nothing that he's doing that's childish. So you, these narcissists do this all the time. So there's nothing that this dude, if we, if we were able to know this person, we would say that there's nothing childish about this person. It's somebody that's emotionally mature, um, a lot more emotionally mature than the narcissist, but the narcissist has this guy fooled. The, the, this guy is taking a lot of abuse from this um, woman right here. Two, it seems that in contact with given challenges, we can revert back quite quickly to an earlier stage in our development. We leave behind all of our adult faculties, the ones associated with reason, logic, calm, strength, and perspective, and slip very quickly into a childlike spectrum marked by panic, rage, despair. No, that's that's when you get called out. That's when it's when you find when, when somebody like me comes along and goes, "Oh no, no, the shoe's on the other foot right here." No, no, no. Very quickly into a childlike spectrum marked by panic, rage, despair. That, that's what they do. When you bust the narcissism on their narcissism, they throw a temper tantrum. These people that claim to be so serious and, oh, I'm so serious. And you find out there's nothing serious about them at all. They're children. An appeasement. The specific occasions that shift us from adult to child are an individual guide to our traumas. There we go. What a great video. I was wondering where it was going. I was wondering where it was going because it's pinning the crime on on the guy. Well, the scenario that we were given is they're just sitting at dinner. So if you give me a scenario, look at the picture. We're supposed to we're supposed to draw. Uh, we're supposed to understand what's going on. Well, there's nothing that the dude's doing that's childish. And then here you have the narcissist. So um, if you're going to paint that picture for me and then tell me trauma, it's the woman that's creating the trauma for the man in this situation. To child are an individual guide to 
to our traumas. The reason why we behave like a child is that traumas selectively arrest emotional development. Yes, this is what has happened to everybody since they were born. And it's everybody. It is all these people that think that they're serious people. They're going to lash out at you. A part of us is going to remain fixed at whatever age we become traumatized at. So though we may be 28 or 72, we will, to all intents, in contact with a certain kind of inflammatory situation. Oh, I'm traumatized right now because I want to light this cigar and I left my lighter upstairs. Resemble the frightened, bewildered, and ashamed three or five-year-olds. We... Just, just think about it. There's nothing to be ashamed of. This is what you're overcoming at the mystery school. And this is put in a very childish, this is a very petering way. This is very cringy for everybody because it's everybody. It's e tr tr like, look at the mystery school videos that I make. Is Jonathan a serious person? He sure presents himself as one. No, Jonathan, uh, all of Jonathan's videos are made, in, made of hiding the trauma and helping to hide everybody else. It, well, they hide in the trauma. They, they never get healed from it. They create groups. That's the only thing. If we really looked at like, the, and I don't even mean, of course, I don't even mean to pick on Jonathan. If we looked at Jonathan's mystery school, it's not a mystery school. It's all designed of people to hide inside of it with their trauma. That's why there's no learning. That's why there's no substance to it whatsoever. The, the video that I made yesterday on fake guitar lessons with Rhett Scholl, do you know why there's no guitar lessons that exist in it because it's a group of traumatized people that want to feel safe from the trauma resemble the frightened oh when it, 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 when I, I could only imagine when people watch this video they have no clue they there it's just about impossible for everybody to understand this is everybody this is how society runs. This is how the mind control, when you were born, you were abused this way. Did you know that everybody is? And everybody lives this secret life. And that's the way to put it. It's a secret life. Like, oh, I'm trying to think of that song. That song, in my secret life. It's exactly that. And the dude's a self-loather, wants to fucking shoot himself in the fucking face. Um, because of all this, and that's how all human beings, all of us human beings live that way. We used to live that way before Jesus Christ, because there's no way for you to see it. There's no, you live so embedded in it and there's nobody that's going to be able to help you with it. Just Jesus Christ, just coming to the mystery school and learning these things. And then it's only Jesus Christ that can save us from all this by destroying all who we believe we are, and everything we believe in so we can be given a fresh start. You didn't have a fair shot at life. Nobody had a fair shot at life because right when you were born, you were innocent and defenseless and everybody did the narcissistic mental illness to you. In contact with a certain kind of inflammatory situation, resemble the frightened, bewildered, and ashamed three or five-year-olds we once were. Though, of course, we'll be unlikely ever to notice this. No bell goes off in the mind to signal you're now shifting from being 32 to being... Oh, two. You, you can absolutely see when somebody shifts from being 32 years old to two years old. You confront them, and, and there's no confronting. It, it's more or less they get triggered by truth. When they get triggered by truth, they start slandering, blackmailing, and extorting. They start acting very irrational and violent. You can definitely tell when somebody switch. And these are the people that claim to be the serious people, though. Remember, it's not people that admit to having like problems or, hey, guys, I seem to be emotionally stunted. Hey, guys, I see like somebody that would be that would go, hey, guys, I'm a man child. That's somebody that's being honest. 
No, this is a hidden world. This is a bunch of people that act like they got their shit together. Then they hear a truth and they revert from 32 years old to two years old. The transition happens in a flash, and it's the work of years of therapy and self-exploration to be able to notice the shift. Look, look, look at that. that. I guess that's what makes me the teacher of the mystery school. Hey, guys, it takes an immense education to even see any of this because all of humanity thinks it's normal because it's the entirety of humanity. It's everybody you have ever known. So it does. It does take a mystery school teacher. It does take somebody that's done vast self-reflection their entire life just to be able to notice it. From being 32 to being two, the transition happens in a flash, and it's the work of years of therapy and self-exploration to be able to notice the shift and take measures to soften the damage. To guess at our original traumas... Uh, no, no, no. Jesus Christ comes into your life and, and cures this problem right here. We need only to study triggering situations and then generalize outwards from them. Oh, it's so easy. They act like they're serious. They act like they're superior. And they do all of this through ridicule. They're just, a, they're the same people that ridiculed Jesus Christ. They're a bunch of ridiculers trying to protect their false persona. That we get very worked up about a difficulty at passport control with a stern officer or about a dispute with a neighbor who's threatening legal action because a tree we planted is blocking their view. When we erase away the local details, we may be able to see an elemental structure and can then ask ourselves questions accordingly. Yeah, and no spiritual education at all. It's a whole entire world of people that don't know themselves. So that makes them pretty dangerous people. A bunch of people that don't know themselves and they live in complete ignorance. It makes them like a dog. You know, a, a dog eating... Have you ever tried to go pet a dog eating and it snaps at you? Oh, it could be the nicest, most loving family dog, but you don't fuck with a dog when it's eating its food. It will turn around and snap at you if it doesn't bite you pretty damn good. And that's what all this is. It's a dog that, that it puts on this, hey, I'm real smart. Hey, I'm real superior. Hey, I, I'm, I'm real serious about this shit here man is adopting a bullying manner towards us. Here's the bullies. Here's the bullies that think that they're so serious and superior over it all. And those are the ones that are traumatized, trying to hide their trauma. Accordingly, a powerful man is adopting a bullying manner towards us. Does this remind us of anything in the past? Oh, yeah. No, it reminds me of the past of a couple minutes ago because I thought, weren't we talking about a scenario where the woman was bullying the man? Because that's that's actually what happens nowadays. Well, wasn't she looking at her man and going, why are you acting like less of a man? Why are you being a baby about it? Well, why are we turning it into because um, this narcissistic mental illness, it's really on the female side of everything. It, it doesn't mean females are more, more prone to have it. It's just on the female side of everything. Being accused of having... You know, men are logical. The logic side is the masculine side. This irrational, emotional side is on the feminine side. But don't think that I'm talking shit about the feminine or even saying, oh, oh look, it's defective and all that. No, it's the trauma. The trauma seems to affect the feminine side in all of these ways. Something bad that we had no idea about and the repercussions feel severe. Does this sound in any way familiar? Memories tend to emerge. That stern passport officer might map with eerie precision onto an extremely frightening father. Or a legal dispute might, in its psychological fundamentals, hint at some awful bullying one suffered at school. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Everybody is traumatized in their life and nobody overcomes it, but it creates all, all of this. And... Um, we should know what the bully actually is here. When there is a certain kind of crisis, we should notice how fast... See, this isn't fragile people. Fragile people are the victim 
of all of this. The the victims, I mean, those, those are people that are honest. The victims of this are people that would go, oh, did you know that we're all a bunch of sinners? Oh, everybody's flawed. The narcissist sees it as you're flawed. And the narcissist does everything in its life to make it look like, oh, no, I'm serious. I have all my shit together. Everything's perfect with me. And then they make it out like you're always behind and you're always trying to catch up and you're just not good enough and you're just a big fuck up and you're actually normal you're you're actually normal suffering all of their abuse fall through the floor so this video should definitely not be about the victim the victim we we can understand the victim the the victim we, you ask the victim anything and it just has its heart on its sleeve that that's how the narcissist chooses its victim the narcissist chooses innocent people that wear their hearts on their sleeve the on the narcissist chooses honest people and says that must be a lie that uh, i hate that person because they're honest it must be a lie it's it's better than the lies that i tell that's what the narcissist thinks the narcissist thinks that the all of life is lies and that person that's honest isn't really on it they're just a they're hiding their lies better than i do it's like they're jealous but they think that somebody that's being honest is just a really good liar and they're going to out that liar and hey why why, why don't you uh, why don't you act like a grown up big baby adulthood 10 or 20 or 40 years slash stories below the present to the childlike basement of the mind a part you know, of it, it took me a while it, it took me watching um swamis and actual real gurus the real in a real guru is somebody that, that has been prepared to be a guru since birth. Uh, I, 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 I learned a lot of this from, one, from, from them. One suffered at school. When there is a certain kind of crisis, we should notice how fast we can fall through the floors of adulthood, 10 or 20 or 40 years slash stories below the present to the childlike basement. Look at how, how did I learn it from Eastern stuff? Right, we're right back to the movie, The Love Guru with Mike Myers. And look at how in the movie, The Love Guru, it's so great because he's playing the real Eastern character. He's supposed to be silly. You're supposed to believe that you're serious and the love guru, he's just a stupid clown and you're so much better and superior and you're so fucking serious. And really, uh, I mean, just um, about all of Eastern stuff, the teachings, how to teach and all that is built off that the if you listen to alan watts and alan watts talks about spiritual teachers everybody views the spiritual teacher like a clown everybody thinks that they're more they're they're smarter ever because the the spiritual teacher presents himself in all of those ways to show you the difference that you're not a serious person that the love guru if we watched the the love guru movie do you, a proper education is you come out learning that wait a minute it was actually the love guru guy that's serious and everybody else is the clown you go into eastern stuff and you think that the teacher you can't understand his ways you can't understand the the the, the mystery school ways of it all and it's just like how you all would look at me. Like, um, I could say everything in so much more clinical terms and I could make it so serious for you. I would be playing into your narcissistic mental disorder if I was to do all of this in that clinical way that you think is so serious. My job is to show that that's not serious. It was actually a narcissistic front. I... As the teacher of the mystery school, I am more serious than anybody you will ever meet. As everybody, single person will perceive me as a clown. Mind. A part of us needs to hold the other steady, see the hole blown in our minds by a triggering event, and then ensure that we can step carefully around the gap. Now, now this is a big deal, though, because the, yes, the triggering event, I mean, people have real trauma and real abuse in their life. I'm talking about narcissistic personality disorder. I'm talking about your parents having it. I'm talking about your brother and your sister having it. I'm talking about everybody you've ever known having it, but not actual like abuse of physical abuse that that's different of the mind 
a part of us needs to hold the other steady see the whole blow but see understand the triggering event is just truth it's the same thing that they killed Jesus Christ for. Jesus Christ went around saying the truth. And everybody lives in their narcissistic world. And they protect it. And they have all their opinions. And they protect it with a false persona. Then Jesus Christ comes around, says the truth. It, it has a way of... Um, it, it has a way of destroying their false persona. What was behind their false persona was a 10-year-old child, was a 5-year-old child because they never emotionally grew. They never had growth. It was all a persona. It was all a fake. And they held up the fake persona by trying to convince you that, no, I'm real serious about everything. I am so serious all the time. So, so serious about it all. You, you know, and... and and life is difficult because you might be thinking that I would be talking about somebody that's real serious. Well, somebody that's real serious for real that's, that, that breaks this is somebody that's been in the military for like 30 fucking years or something. I'm thinking exactly of the, um, the last video that I uploaded, the, the education for the United States. Yeah, that's what I learned from. That's why I know all this stuff. That same video that I uploaded of um, the military coming out to teach the United States public. I don't know where everybody else was. Those used to be on TV all the time when we were kids. And I just watched those, just soaking all that information up. So I'm just trying to say that the, that military video, that's actually serious. That is serious without the serious persona, without the fake person. The military, the way that you're trained in the military was literally taken from the prodigal son. You can only, you can only take all these things from Jesus Christ because Jesus Christ built civilization. So I'm just saying on a side note, you know, one way to beat all of this, uh, uh, a, a hardcore military, military training will beat all this shit out of you and make you a well-oiled machine that knows how to work with others years slash stories below the present to the childlike basement of the mind a part of us needs to hold the other steady see the hole blown in our minds by a triggering event oh and, and and see i i make it too light this is literally what happened to you when you came to the mystery school every single person when you came to the mystery school you never seen anything like me and um everything that i do and did triggered you into this you remember if you, you when you were new at the mystery school you wanted to kill me for all this you wanted to somehow expose me you you thought that somehow i had a colossal ego and you need to knock me down he's below the present to the childlike so you, so you, you every single person at the mystery school you know this very well this happened to you you came to the mystery school you've spent your whole life protecting your narcissistic ego dancing around it on eggshells with everybody else then you came to the mystery school and you got triggered into becoming the five-year-old child that you've always been and then we start real education then we, once you realize, whoa, hold on, I haven't really matured since the past the age of five and ten, because the world won't allow you to. The, 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 you and I were doing the only education that allows you to grow past that. Forty years slash stories below the present to the childlike basement of the mind. A part of us needs to hold the other steady, see the hole blown in our minds by a triggering event, and then ensure that we can step carefully around the gap and take a seat somewhere very safe on the edge of the room while we wait for reason to repair the damage. We're so afraid of patronizing ourselves, we can find it very hard to accept the bewildering way in which, in certain areas, at times, we truly can be slammed back into being a frightened, panicky, perspectiveless, younger version of ourselves the flaws in our minds well that 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 didn't this video didn't help it didn't show anybody anything and it didn't help the video the video that you and i are making sure does explain it but look at look at how it can end because it's every single person 
and no one would ever understand how it's them. They think that it's somebody else. They think that it's like one out of a hundred people. It's a hundred out of a hundred people. It's every single human being. So of course the video ends with no solution. The video ends with nobody learned anything and they think that's normal because it's them. They don't even see that there's a problem to solve. Then all human beings would think it's like, oh no, that's, they would really think it's like, oh no, that's one out of a thousand people. And it's a thousand out of a thousand people. We truly can be slammed back into being a frightened, panicky perspective. So, so the video ends. The video ends with just saying, if you got triggered with truth, it's going to turn you into CNN. And then you're just going to start bl slandering, blackmailing, and extorting everything while you thought that you were a rational person, but you never were. And that's how it ends. <laughs> that's, a, that's it. it. It ends with build more ego. Uh, like, what's the conclusion? We're supposed to, it, it, you're, the conclusion of this is it's fearing you into being your real self. It's fearing you that, oh, wait a minute, if you get triggered, oh, you're going to revert to that child again because you have no emotional maturity. Okay, so the solution is that we gain emotional maturity. The solution is that we learn ourself and we're going to find out that all this hiding this thing is actually a narcissistic mental illness that we're trying to think, we're thinking it's benefiting us and we're thinking that it is us. And the solution here is to overcome it. The solution of this video here is to actually fear it. L look at how this ends. It, it says, watch out, you might get triggered by truth. Then you'll be reverted to that three-year-old that you are. And then no, 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 that's it, that's all, that's it accept the bewildering way in which in certain areas at times we truly can be slammed back into being a frightened panicky perspectiveless younger version of ourselves the flaws in our minds may be prone to collapse at moments of stress but knowing the danger is more than halfway to a solution well there there it is knowing the deep oh, oh i really need to light this cigar of stress. I might have to burp. I got my cigar in my mouth. I'm, I'm smoking. I mean, I'm drinking coffee at the same time. Then I'm trying to talk. Knowing the danger is more... Okay, knowing the danger. Yes, awareness. That has always been the real truth. Awareness solves all this stuff. So, yeah, but um, without my video, nobody knows what there is to be aware of. Um, without my video, nobody knows what we're talking about in the slightest. Without my video, every single human being thinks that we're talking about one out of a thousand people and that person's real far away and you don't need to care about it. And it's literally you. And it's how you grew up. It's how your parents grew up. It's how your parents parents. It's how you parents. It's how you're a friend to everybody. It's how a fr everybody's everybody dancing around this fucking mental illness. Halfway to a solution and greater and deserve it calm. So I hope everybody has the greatest day. I'm feeling a lot better. Like I said, I'm going out today. I'm going down to Orange County just to drive around and enjoy the people of the beach. I mean, I say people, I hate people just like everybody else's. It's not like, like I'm not trying to present this Instagram um, version of myself where I'm like, oh, look at how I get down with the people. I like people. I like people watching. I like going down to the beaches that are super crowded and it's the resort feeling down here in California. And I like um, going up and down Santa Monica Boulevard and it's just crowded with people walking and doing and and that's that's me. I'm like witnessing life and I'm being part of it and everything's built of the symbolism. I love it when you guys share that with me. I love it because that's what I do. It, you guys have learned how to do the same thing. You go out and you enjoy your day, You whatever you're doing, whatever it is. Uh, I, I like to just drive around and look, then get out and walk for a long time and then get in the car and drive for into another amazing spot and just soak up and do life. And I hope everyone has the greatest day and the greatest life you could possibly have.